What's going on, guys? You're with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to the Keater Cave, Episode 2, a weekly podcast featuring myself and my partner in crime, Spizzles. We cover random Pokemon topics and much, much, much more, so I'll let him introduce himself now before I just keep on talking randomly forever and ever and ever. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's Spizzles, a.k.a. SVB, and he's about to interrupt me in two seconds because he wants to actually get started. Oh, okay, so what are we going to talk about today, Hardy? Well, I figured we'd start off with uh, the new X and Y news that's come out over the past week. So you actually have the list today because I'm lazy and unprepared. So I'll let you take away with the segment. All right, guys. Well, um, hold on. Let me just uh, put my Skype to Do Not Disturb real quick because I just got messaged by somebody else. This is not the time to do that. You should have been prepared beforehand. <laughs> okay. So starting off, um, according to what I've heard, there may be some of this is, that is not exactly true. They're rumors, but for the most part, I'm pretty sure all of this is correct. First of all, the first one we should probably start off with is electric types cannot be paralyzed anymore. Is this true? Um, from what I, well, yeah, I think I read that on Bulbapedia, and it makes a lot of sense. Um, like, you know, Thunder Wave, why would that affect other electric Pokemon that are like have electricity flowing through their body? Exactly. The only one I could kind of understand would be like Stun Spore, since that's not electric you know that's like spraying a powder on them but just giving them a full immunity to paralyzation does make sense to well me, so. that that brings up one thing that comes to mind is i don't really remember can poison types be poisoned no okay and um can like ice types be uh frozen um I, I don't, that's a good question. I doubt it. I don't actually know. Like, that's what, what uh, those things came to mind. I was like, okay, I was I was pretty sure poison types couldn't be poisoned, but I can't remember about ice types or, I I, don't, I, I guess fire types can get still get burnt, can't they? Uh, I don't think fire types can get burnt. Hmm. See, things like that come to mind when I read this, and, um... Yeah, I, th I think that's where I got the information was on Bulbapedia, because I've had this information ready for about a, pretty much ever since we finished the last podcast. Well, when it came out, more like. And um, I don't know. I don't know what I think about it. I think that's actually probably a good thing. But, um, you know, I, I probably won't be playing X and Y at first anyway. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a horrible person. But I don't know. Seeing all this news is kind of making me realize, like, how much the metagame is going to change for 6th Gen with, like, uh, the new way to types affect each other, um, with fairy type, obviously, with, like, the changes to electric types can't be paralyzed, grass, I don't know if you had, I don't remember if you had this written down, but grass types no longer affected by powder moves, like stun spore and poison powder. I did um, not hear about that one, that is actually <clears throat> interesting to me. Yeah, grass types no longer going to be affected by any of the powder type moves, which, um, I don't think, like, as far as Wi-Fi goes, I don't think powder moves are, like, that... Um, popular because they're low accuracy, with the exception, of course, Butterfree being super OP. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's still going to be changed. Like, definitely, like, early in the game, because you have a lot of the powder moves early in the game when you get your Bug-type Pokemon. So that could have an effect, like, earlier on. If you picked a Grass starter, you could be at a big advantage. Like, what if you tried to use Butterfree on a Grass-type or something? That would kind of make it suck, I uh, guess. Well, you know, the fact that Butterfree is still a flying type and a bug type, both of which are super effective against bug or grass, I'm sure it'll get along just fine. <laughs> oh, okay, well, you, you make a valid point. And I actually should mention to you, I actually forgot um, when I was reading this to you beforehand what we are going to talk about. I forgot to scroll down, so there's actually more. <laughs> oh, well, we'll just cover those as we go. So besides electrics no longer being um, paralyzed, what other news do we have this week? Um... Well, for news, I, I did have something I wanted to bring up, but we will get to what I think would be a good topic later on that they haven't announced. Um, on other news, um, they decided that Mega Evolutions are only for non 6 Gen Pokemon. Now, I don't remember if that applies to the starters or not, but from what I've been told, every, any Pokemon before 6 Gen can have a Mega Evolution well, of that list or whatever, because it's not all the Pokemon. But any of the Pokemon that are released in this new X and Y game, the new 6th gen, are not going to have Mega Evolutions. Uh, well, that it makes a lot of sense to me like to do that. Well, except for like the starters, they're not going to be getting Evolutions, which in hindsight kind of seems unfair because every other starter Pokemon will be getting Mega Evolutions. But 
you got it to think of logic of like six gen is literally just being released. We're just getting all these new Pokemon to give them new mega evolutions already. Like as they're being introduced would probably be too much. So wait until seventh gen to give these guys some mega evolutions or, you know, possibly add them in if they're doing a DLC feature. Yeah, that's what I, that's what exactly what I was about to say is what about DLC there? That might be a possible option. Yeah. If um, they're like, going to do like a DLC kind of thing, which I really, really think they should. Cause it's, yeah, this is a big opportunity to make even more fantastic money, which I'm sure Nintendo's all about. Yeah, um, they can do the Call of Duty approach. Map pack 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and they all have zombies, and that's the only thing anybody cares about on them. I don't know why, but that actually gave me like a really good idea to um, for DLC for X and Y. Like, like maybe add like the Kanto region. Like, send oh, them off to the Kanto yeah. region. Yeah, like, they add, add more regions for you to play. Because, I mean, they've <laughs> already done that before with, like, Emerald and stuff. But I mean, Kanto is, like, really small. And that probably would be something that's easy to add in like that. That wouldn't yeah, take up, like, like the, another cartridge and everything. Like, maybe you, you can only get there by fly or something. And you have to have the DLC or something. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that would be really cool. I like that idea. Um... Okay. Uh, any any else? Anything else you want to add to that? Um, I forgot what we were talking about before. <laughs> well, we were, we were talking about Mega Evolutions, right? Right. DLC for them, which I think would be a possible option because yeah, everybody's starting to get used to the new Pokemon, you know, and they're like, okay, we don't even know their evolutions yet, much less their Mega Evolutions. So, um, and from what I from what I've heard, I think are we supposed to like actually get the first set of starters too, not just the six gen starters. Yes, you'll be receiving two starter Pokemon in X and Y. So you're going to be getting um, the. I think you're actually getting the. Um, I don't. I can never remember the name of this region. It's like Kalos. The Kalos region starters you'll be getting from one of your friends, and okay. for the professor will be giving you one of the three Kanto starters. Hmm. So. Hmm. You'll that's be getting two starter Pokemon in this game, which is the first time they've ever done that. Wow, well, that's so you're gonna have two Pokemon to start off with, basically, or, or you um, one? I you might not get one, like you might not get the other starter Pokemon until like maybe a gym into the game. It wasn't very specific, but you yeah. will be receiving both fairly early on. That's that's awesome. I love that. So I think that'll be really cool. Um, I'll enjoy watching gameplay of people playing the game. <laughs> it won't be from me. <laughs> all right. Um, it's so fun, funny how we're doing all this X and Y news, and neither of us are going to be making X and Y videos. So <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> but you know, we gotta inform your subscribers. Of and stuff they already to... know. <laughs> There's yeah, a good chance they already up. know this news. We kind of been adding our own insight on it, but we're adding our know. own commentary. Yes. That's what they're here for, is the bickering and the bad jokes. Yeah. Speaking of bad jokes, would you like to hear one right now? No. Well, you're going to hear it anyway, so you can shut the fuck up. Okay, so... I gotta remember the joke. Hold on a second. You don't even know the joke? I, I gotta remember it. <laughs> Why did you say, oh, Let's I'm gonna see. tell you a joke. Let me think of I, it. I told it to my friend Taylor earlier, so let me just get on to my text. <laughs> it doesn't need a backstory. Just tell the joke. I'm not giving a backstory. I just you just gave, look. like, some big backstory about how you gave and said it to some guy named Taylor that nobody it's, cares about. It's a girl. It's a like, girl you know how to talk to girls. I I actually talk to girls. Is that why you're texting Believe them? Or you're not. not actually talking to them. No, I talked to her in real life. We were hanging out earlier today, and she's gonna come hang out with me tomorrow. Speaking of which, until you know, I gotta set up for this joke even more. I have an iPhone now, so I'm actually able to just look and see all my sent box texts and and her texts all on one page. It was pretty annoying on my old phone. Okay, so here's the joke. All right, ready? Yeah, we've all been ready for like the past two minutes. Does a lion cheat on his wife? No. But a tiger would. Do you see? Do I don't get it. Joke? You don't get it? A lion. Does a lion cheat on his wife? You would think yeah. he would because his name is lying. It's like a lion. No, a lion. lion. Does a lion cheat on his wife? No. And here comes the funny part. But a tiger would. I don't get it. 
I hope your subscribers are just yelling at you right now in the comments. Explain it to me. Tiger Woods, idiot. The oh, guy. okay, that's fucking retarded. Can we I move thought on it with was this? funny. We... I thought it was you funny. You specifically started out saying it's a dumb joke, and it is. Well, I thought it was funny because it's a dumb joke. You, Let's you get on with the show. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so we've already done... I'm going to leave a little dash on things we've already talked about. We've done that one, and I have it as a notepad thing. Okay, and we have not done that one. We have done this one. Okay, so should we talk about the uh, the evolutions, the new evolutions for the fossil Pokemon? Uh, I don't know their names. Do you have them written down? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, like you, I didn't prepare enough. <laughs> well, the T-Rex turns into a bigger T-Rex, and the other one turns into some cool rainbow stegosaurus they, thing. They look a lot cooler, which, you know, the later evolutions are supposed to look cooler, unless you do the Ash Ketchum approach, and it's like, I'm not going to involve any of my Pokemon. As far as I, like, actually, um, I, I just hear so many people complain, like, Ash never evolving his Pokemon, but from what I read, the reason why they never do that is because... It's more scary for kids. Yeah, I was going to say, the show's freaking aimed at kids. What do you think they'd rather see? Like a guy with a cute little otter or this giant-ass seal wanting to kill everybody? And that's also part of why, you know, um, you know, Ash Ketchum never changes age. He's always, like, 10 or whatever. You know, everybody tries to make these weird theories, like the Acoma theory and all these different ones. Um, But really, it's just because... The because the people that write the anime they want to keep the main character around the same age as their targeted audience, so that's about ten years old. So that's why Ash Ketchum is forever ten, even though their target audience is not actually their real audience. They got a bunch of guys like us that actually still watch it, even though I kind of gave up after the fourth gen. Well, to be to be fair, I'm sure a big part of the audience is still kids that age. It's just they're not oh, yeah, on the internet, yeah. so we don't feel their presence. And yet, but I there find are it like of kids on the internet. That is not true. I meant like, well, they're not. They're all in the Call of Duty community, so we're fine. Uh, um, yet, I find it very contradicting that in the new TV commercial they have, it's filled with um, teenagers like 16 years old, and I'm like, what? That's not their target audience, so. <laughs> Oh, really? I haven't seen any commercials. So. Uh, yeah, they have, like, a new TV commercial out where they have um, CGI Pokemon, like, in the real world with, like, teenagers. And it's like, you're not kids. It's so confusing. But, and then everyone's saying that Ash looks older in a new anime. And I'm like, he just got teeth. Open your eyes. He just finally grew in his big boy teeth. Yep. So, yeah, that's our opinion on the new fossil evolutions. <laughs> <laughs> they were cool, and then we went into some kind of other rant. <laughs> I don't even remember how we got there. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we were talking about, um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Moving on. Okay, here's something that I've actually wanted for a long time that they added, or they're planning on adding, that I think will really help make you not have to grind as much for your Pokemon to get them to a good enough level to, you know, face a gem or whatever. Catching a Pokemon will still give you experience. So, yeah. say instead of killing it, like Hardy does in all of his videos, when he's yeah. supposed to be trying to catch it, um, instead, uh, if you just decide to just catch it, and you know, even if you've done damage to it or whatever, it still gives you the experience for defeating it. So that'll be nice. It will give you experience to the Pokemon that was out in battle or whatever, and... Um, yeah, that's, there's not much I can explain about that. So what do you think? I'm not really sure why people are making such a big deal about this. I mean, in your average playthrough Pokemon, how many Pokemon do you actually catch? I mean, I usually fill up my party, which would be f catching five Pokemon and maybe a few more in a box. That's like, at most, ten Pokemon through the entire journey. Is ten extra Pokemon worth of experience really that big of a deal? Yes. Because what if it's a really good Pokemon that's like... <laughs> Really hard to really hard to defeat if you just decide fuck it, throw a master ball at it, throw a master ball at a Caterpie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I think what a waste of a master ball. No offense to your channel. I no think it's a cool feature. I just think it's overrated because people are like, 
well, overreacting to what I mean, it does. Looking at looking at a Nuzlocke standpoint, that doesn't mean shit. I mean, nobody really cares because you're not going to catch that many Pokemon for a Nuzlocke. But say, say well, typically you catch more Pokemon in a Nuzlocke kids, than you would a normal run. Say, say you're one of those kids that's watching the the animation or not the the anime show, and you're seeing the whole gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. And then you decide to play Pokemon. You're like, I gotta catch them all. I'm gonna catch six Caterpies. I'm gonna catch five Spinarax. You know, that might actually benefit them a lot. Yeah, but they, they, then they're just like spending money and they're not benefiting at all. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You're still gonna get the EXP whether you kill it or not. And then you're just gonna have a box full of Spinarax. But- but you get experience. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> you're, if they're, you're not getting any... They haven't clarified whether you're getting the same amount of experience as you would from battling. They just said you're still getting experience. But it just... It doesn't matter because you could just kill it. And yeah, okay. Say so you want to catch an Electric. So you catch an Electric. Wow, there's 300 experience as well. That's like a good prize. <laughs> it's not like it's going to make that much of a difference in your grinding if you catch it instead of kill it it's going to take the same amount of time maybe even longer because of the catching animation i just don't really think people are thinking into this process and they're trying to make it sound like such an oh, amazing thing speed. when in reality it's not a freaking oh. amazing thing are you done with your speed talking rant thing that you do in some of your videos it's not special move on okay <laughs> oh here's something um the trading card game the official Trading card game for 6th gen, I believe, is supposed to be released on February 15th or February 5th, 2014. However, on November 8th, a little bit of the region, what's the name of the region? I can't remember. Kalos. Kalos. The new region will be released, uh, a little bit of it. They're going to have thing decks with the starters, they're going to have a couple fairy type Pokemon in those cards. Um,. And trading card game. I think I said TCG, which is trading card game. Um, and um, they're also going to have fairy energy cards, which is still like dragon. Where are the dragon energy cards? Hello. But <laughs> whatever. They're apparently never getting them. Yeah, I just realized like they just completely skip dragon energy. Because <laughs> apparently it's not needed. I don't know. What are there any other energy cards that aren't that don't exist? Uh. That's well, it. considering there's seven, or what now, 18 types, and I, there's only, uh, not nearly as many energies, because I know they combine, like, rock, fighting, and ground all into one energy. Um, I think Ghost and Psychic are grouped into one energy. For a long time, like, Steel Pokemon were grouped in with Normal, then you got a Steel Energy, so. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not even that good, like, knowledgeable about TCG, and yet I'm still, like, turning into a little fanboy here, so. <laughs> Well, trading card game, I mean, I, I, when I was younger, I pretty much had the cards just to collect them. And then all of a sudden, my neighbors and I kind of just got into it. But we weren't really playing it correctly, you know. We weren't playing it. I mean, we were, we were trying our best to follow the rules, but I don't think we were actually following the rules perfectly. Like, we would just put out a fucking Charizard if we felt like it. We didn't have to do the whole uh, starting at a younger whatever starting as a base Pokemon and then doing the evolution or whatever. Um, but, um, I don't know. I think that's actually pretty cool that they're actually going to have a release for, um, like, the, the theme decks with the starters first and then going to bring the rest of it later, which actually is going to be a lot later looking at it. What is that? Uh, it's like three months. Three months, yeah. Almost three months. Three days short of three months. <laughs> um, well... I mean, by that time, X and Y are already going to be out for like a month and a half, so we're already going to know all the Pokemon. So I'm not really sure why they're waiting like four months after the release of the game to release the actual TCG expansion pack. But, you know, yeah. Pokemon can do whatever they want. I try not to question their logic. Yeah, their logic doesn't even make sense in their video, <laughs> in their video games. My friend, actually, my friend <laughs> Kevin that goes to, goes to school with me... Um, he actually uh, had on his phone, he showed me a thing, and it said um, it, it had that new, one of those new evolution things that's a dragon type. It's like, this is a dragon type, and it's like it looks like a T-Rex kind of thing. And then it showed a couple other things that don't look like dragon types that are dragon types, and then it's like the Mega Evolution Charizard, still flying type. Still fire. <laughs> 
Why is Gyarados still not a dragon? <gasps> I wonder if there's going to be... Was there a Mega Gyarados in that list we went over last week? There was not, actually. I don't think so. I don't remember. That honestly surprises me that they didn't go with Mega Gyarados. It seems well, like I mean, they could have done something good there. All you gotta do is shock it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, Mega Gyarados could have been Water Dragon. Water like Dragon, it, like it should uh, freaking be in the first place. But the only reason they did it is because I the mean, only Dragon move they had in first gen was Dragon Rage. Are any of the Mega Evolutions that are two types actually turn into two different types that we know of? Um, no, I think so far the only Pokemon that has a type so, change is Ampharos Gaining Dragon type. But it's just regular electric before that, though. So it's now yeah. just electric dragon. See, that's the thing. A lot of, they're not, like, taking away half of its type to add in another half. So that's why they can't really change Charizard. Well, they and, might, you know, just because they haven't done it yet doesn't mean they can't. What reason do they have for not being able to do it? They sure. can do whatever they want. They're they can do Pokemon. whatever the hell they want. That's exactly right. And that actually brings me into not a news <laughs> topic, but we still have a couple more. Um, that is actually one thing I would like to talk about. doesn't look like they'll be doing it for 6th gen. It's probably too late. They probably would have already announced if they were going to do this. But um, maybe a later on in the game. What if they had a Pokemon that could have three types as opposed to two? Uh, I'll let you give your opinion first. Well, it sounds like you're not going to have a very positive opinion, by the way <laughs> you said that. Personally, I think that would suck ass. But there are some people that think that would be good. But then it'd just be even more confusing for people like me that don't even know what's effective against what. I mean, hell, when I was doing my uh, Nuzlocke with my friend Leon, you remember that. <laughs> we we couldn't even remember what type gold bat was. <laughs> And, um, you know, if it's three types, it's going to make all the weaknesses and strengths get thrown off a little bit. Like, what is it going to be like, um, you know, like 1.5 effective or something? Well, I guess they still, they do already have that, don't they? But, I don't know. Put, put your insight on this. Go. <sighs> way, just, it's way too much, you know? I mean, you got to consider the fact that for the most part, they got to make this game, like, understandable to kids, which this is why I can understand for the most part it's probably why EVs are hidden because it just get way too complicated. And one type, that's really easy. Two types is easy enough to grasp onto. But when you throw in a third type, it just gets way too complicated. Because say you have, like, a water flying dragon type. You know, you would have... The ice would be super effective against the flying into water, but then you'd, or flying into dragon, and then you'd have the water cancel it out, so... Would it only be times two super effective or times four, or one, like 1. 1.5 or like 2.5 or 3 or what would that happen? It'd just be so hard to try to understand. It's just to try to grab the concept of how that even worked. It'd just be way over complicated. I don't know why people would want that. Just leave it as it is. One concept I did think kind of interesting would be breathe. like, what if like a move had two types? Breathe. You need to breathe, man. Oh, oh, breathing, I asked you a question. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the question? You what start if a move talking had two fast types? and I can't What if a move had say. two types? What if a move had two t- That, actually, I don't know. That would be really weird. I'd just completely screw up and like break the game, but hypothetically, um, I can't really that, think of any moves that would be two types right now, but... That would be possible, but then that's another thing you gotta keep in mind. What about if it's a stab move? Like, like say it was a fire-flying move. I don't know. Say it was a fire-flying move, and you were using Charizard, who is fire-flying. Does that mean that it's, like, double stab or something? Like, does it make it even more powerful? Uh, yeah, I would think stab? so. I, I would think so. But then you got to think about that, and you got to think about other things, and then you got to consider the special versus physical and all that crap. So, um, hmm. I don't know. I could. I could actually. Now that I think about it. I could see them doing uh, two type moves over three type Pokemon. I don't, think, I don't even think either one of them is going to happen. Logically, I, and I really hate to use logic when talking about Pokemon because it never works. First. Of well, time. Um, I mean, just you have to have some kind of just barely a little bit of logic in three type Pokemon and two type moves. I think would just be a little too much and too confusing for pokemon so i doubt either of those would ever happen sure 
Okay, so what's next on your list there, buddy? Okay, um, let's look here. Okay, so we've done that, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Okay, we've done... Okay, so I pretty much only have one more thing, which is not good, because we've only been going a little while. But we can just start bullshitting and talking about our lives or some shit. Um, so, um, for the last X and Y news... So, the girl for X and Y anime has been released, from what we can tell. Uh, all the anime characters have been released. Well, oh, really? Well, okay, we'll let you... Well, all let... of Ash's um, companions for this season have been released. Well, the first one is Serena. Yes, correct? who is the uh, female character in X and Y, correct? And, uh, yes, that is the female for X and Y. And apparently she has known Ash since they were kids, which meant, the, aren't they still technically kids, first of all? I and, did not know that part. Yeah, well, apparently that, that is their backstory is like when they meet or run into each other, they recognize each other or something like that. That's what I've heard. And, um, you know, and then apparently there's going to be some weird anime flashback to where they met or something when they were, when... Uh, Ash was even younger, which he must have been five for, I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, time to be six now, and I just got a text message. Nobody cares. Uh, well, since you're off checking your text message, I'll cover the next anime characters, which one of them is um, one of the gym leaders from X and Y. He's the electric type gym leader. I don't remember his name, but Apparently, he refuses to battle Ash until he gets more badges, so he's pretty much pulling a Norman. So, I'm curious to know like, how that's going to come about. If uh, if he just, like, randomly runs into Ash, he's like, hey, I'm a gym leader. I'm not going to battle you because I'm a douche. And the final th companion, because apparently they want to make us hate this anime like they did with Hoenn, is a little kid who is the gym leader's sister, who apparently is searching to find her brother a wife. Even though the brother oh, looks like he's like 10 heard, years old. I have heard about that, but I just completely ignored that because that's so stupid that I just didn't write it down. <laughs> but but um, back to the gym leader thing, I could see them pulling... Uh, like, what if what if X and Y, they pulled off a whole light platinum thing where, oh, the gym leader's never actually in their gym. we got to go find them. Oh. Uh, I hate that game. <laughs> it just it happens in every town. It's so annoying. Mm. But yes, yes. And, um, yeah, the whole... Like, how old is the kid that's trying to get uh, a wife or some shit? Like, I don't think he's looking for a wife. His sister's the one who's looking, looking to get a wife for him. Yeah, but he's like... He's just 10. They're all 10, I'm guessing. I don't know. I think the sister's younger because she's not old enough to have Pokemon. She's True. the she's the Max of Six Gen. You remember okay. Max from the Hoenn saga? Yeah, I remember Main Max or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just got really quiet, so I was thinking, oh, did I say something wrong? No, well, I was expecting you to carry on with the topic, and now we just have this weird, awkward silence. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, I was gonna say something, and I I blank. Oh yeah. Um. Bringing up how, um, you know, apparently he remembers this girl from when they were kids. I was I was on YouTube earlier, and I was watching some videos just, just for, you know, whatever. And um, came across a video apparently from the Diamond and Pearl anime. And apparently Ash was sitting down with some people, and he was like, when I was younger, which meant, you know, apparently a couple weeks ago since he's still 10. Um <laughs> I had this Pokemon by the name of Charmander because I don't actually give my Pokemon nicknames. And then, uh, you know, he actually, it was like an eight minute video. Apparently, like a good bit of that episode of the anime, he talked about how he met Charmander and then how it evolved into Charmander and became a dickhead, evolved into Charizard, still a dickhead, and then eventually became awesome again in the Orange Islands and. Then he released them because he released half of his good Pokemon, all of his good Pokemon, Butterfree, Charizard. Who else did he release that pissed me off? Um, Primeape. He didn't release Primeape. He didn't release. It. He, he no. Remember he left him at the um, Fight Club thing. Yeah, to train. He still owns Primeape. 
Yeah, but he has he gone back for him? He just leaves him there. Freaking Pidgeot, man. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> I actually, um, I think in like one of the upcoming anime episodes, Primeape is actually like featured in a flashback, and that's the first time Primeape's seen seen in the anime since he left the show so yeah at least at least charizard's made a couple of appearances to save well, charizard's Ash. back on ash's main team now oh really yeah he came back in the anime and he's a full team member <gasps> that's awesome yeah it's been I going think... on for like two months pay attention <laughs> i'm so behind on information <laughs> All that right. was like the big news when it first happened how did you miss that I guess I just don't watch the anime anymore. So. You don't even have to watch the anime. It like took over Bulbapedia. Everyone's like, "Oh my God, Charizard!" Fanboy, <laughs> fangirl all over that Charizard. Okay, hold on. There's about to be an ad, and I'm gonna try to shut up as soon as I can. Hold on. <clears throat> all right, sorry. Okay, so I just like to take this second since we've gone through all our news. This Caterkate podcast is still sponsored by nobody. Sponsor like, us. Sponsor Give us money because we need it. And I want to go through some of the comments on our first Caterkate. Oh, um, okay. Them. Okay, so first of all, so is, so is Spizzles your usual co-host, or are you doing this with different people? Hardy Tech Yo-Yo and I both are saying, nah, man, we besties for life. He sucks my dick. And um, thank you to everybody in the comments that um pointed out that it was Spectrobes that I thought of. A lot of you were like, oh, that's such a shitty game, so fuck I, you. I, um, I had that game when it first came out, and I never got to get that far into it because my sister stole it. So I don't actually know if it's a good game or not, but I was super pumped when I first got it because I thought it looked so cool, and now I kind of want to go play it. <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, dude, you should get it. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. But um, all right, so that was the next comment. The game was Spectrobes. I remember it was the dude with the orange hair, and he got fossils and spizzles and my name and whatever. Okay. Um, what is a moment run? Everybody was talking about that, but I didn't actually... Oh, yeah. Um, apparently, it's a thing where all the Pokemon are turned into, um, like, girls in cute cosplay outfits of the Pokemon. And I always saw a video, and it's freaking adorable. And I, but I don't know if there are any, like, completed ones or not, but I don't think it's something I would do. Just because, like, every time I see Pokemon, I'd be like, yeah, one sec, I gotta go fap. Because they're just, like, that adorable. <laughs> <to you. laughs> but, well, actually, when I first read it, when I first was, like, just going through comments, I was just kind of scanning or whatever. Because I wanted to see if anybody was like, wow, so this Spizzles guy's a faggot or something. You are. Um, well, shut up. Anyway. Um, Spizzles anyway, is a faggot. Say it in the comments. Not true. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, I actually thought it said the person said do a mormon run i was like (laughs) (laughs) doesn't that mean you can have like oh my god imagine that a pokemon world where you can have as many wives as you want (laughs) everybody going around um (laughs) that'd be fantastic for a wedlock run run. (laughs) that's a month It's a it's a monk run, and you have to spend the entire game in Sprout Tower. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine if you like had to do a Bell Sprout solo run, you just call it a monk run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the top comment is Hardy Tech Yo Yo saying YouTube isn't letting me add annotations, so just um pretend there are links on the screen. So, oh yeah, my god, I love that guy. He's so awesome. And then um, my personal favorite comment is by Extreme Dude Seven Twenty who put penis. And, um, let's see. I'm not surprised that's your favorite. Great. Now everybody <laughs> in the comments is going to think I'm gay, and they're actually going to start calling me a faggot. Okay. There's too so, many uh, awkward silences today. Yeah. <laughs> well, before we got in this call, Hardy was all, do 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 the second he starts talking, he's like, what's up, guys? It's Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. Oh, I was it's having like, a bad day, and recording cheers me you up. You had a bad day. You take your one down. Yeah. I don't know the words. I know you the song. You take a bad song, song just and turn you turn it, it around. around. It's not a bad song. It's a sad song. Whatever. Anyway, um, okay. So I'm just kind of scanning now. Some guy said, when in doubt, talk about bananas. Uh, we were not talking about bananas. We were talking about... Getting boners. No, no. Um, um, we were talking about bananas from Tropius. Yeah, but then we got in the discussion about the boners you get from the spiders that are in the bananas. 
<laughs> maybe he was using bananas as a code word. <laughs> uh, maybe. And then uh, we got one cheese is awesome says hashtag arm cannons. Okay. Oh, because of Blastoise. Mega Blastoise. Yeah. I actually think Mega Blastoise is probably the best looking one right now of the three main it ones. Is. I don't. I, I don't like. Yeah, it I don't. Is. Like he looks like he was in a pencil sharpener. It, it, that was my joke. I know, and I agree. I'm agreeing with you. you can't just agree by repeating my joke. That's so unoriginal. <laughs> Is it plagiarism or something? I'm suing you. I'm pretty sure plagiarism on YouTube is, is like, impossible now because everybody, like, there's no such a thing as originality. And um, Dude, I am so original. Yeah, right. Find you're, you're someone awesome. else who has videos anything like mine commentary-wise. I dare you. I can think of some people, but they'll all piss you off. So we're just going to keep moving on? Who? Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. no, no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who has not. commentary like mine? Well. I can't just think of anybody. Yeah. But the thing is, I'm talking about originality and content. So like, My content's like, original. Obviously, you're not original because a lot of your um, inspiration came from Black Light Attack. That does, yeah, but my commentary style is nothing like Black Lives And that, that is true. But I'm sure there's somebody on that YouTube page, on the YouTube world, that came before you that has a kind of unique kind of style, kind of like you. That doesn't mean you're not unique. I'm just saying that... I'm special, it's damn it. Be, it's impossible to be fully original. Well, I don't care, damn it. So I didn't just, see anyone uh, else do the Pokemon game show. Mm -hmm. That is true. That that is pretty original. I will give you that. that yeah. Was, and that 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 was amazing. Speaking of which, you should totally have me on as a guest. Oh my god! I keep forgetting I'm supposed to be doing that with Black Light Attack, and I'm being lazy and just forgetting. And um, just <laughs> let you guys know. Can I can I mention this about you testing it on me or not? I don't care. <laughs> okay, so. One night when I was just, you know, trying to do homework and then I was just looking for an excuse to stop working, Hardy's like, hey, can I borrow you for a second? I'm like, hell yeah. And, um, and then he decides to call me and he's like, okay, I'm going to just kind of test these questions on you. And a couple of these questions were bullshit and actually <laughs> a bunch of different answers were correct. That was only one, one question. The gym leader's question was like, what's different about the gym leaders? And I was like... They're all different types or something. You're like, well, technically, you can. They're all different. So, and I wrote. Okay, ba hold on. Let me explain so, so, what's going on here because you're a horrible <laughs> wife. Basically, I was writing the questions for the next episode of Pokemon Game Show, and I wanted to test them to see if they're difficult. So I called him up on Skype to <laughs> test them on him. I should have known better because he's the stupidest person when it comes to Pokemon. He doesn't know I, jack I, shit. I feel like maybe like a like an eighth of the questions. <laughs> There's eight questions. I think he got like two right. And um, one, I accidentally wrote a question that was like completely broken because it had like fifty right answers. But um, <laughs> basically, yeah, that he's very stupid. I have no idea why I'm doing this podcast with him because if he does, he hasn't played Pokemon <laughs> since third gen. So hey, we're, I thought it was thought it was because we're besties for life, as was asked by a comment. Yeah, I don't know. I might replace you if someone better comes along. Ah. Oh, <laughs> by the way, um, isn't uh, isn't your buddy uh, Hoodlum Scrafty doing like a, like a co-op with somebody? Uh, Some... yeah. So what? <laughs> okay, I just I I think I heard that. I didn't know who he was doing it with, but um, anyway. Because I remember you were doing it with him, and then y'all kind of stopped, which was lame, but that's okay. Anyway, we just, so... We suck there, at that game. <laughs> there was another... There's another comment, which I'm sorry, I, can, I don't know how to read your name, which I haven't been reading the names anyway, so I shouldn't bother. I remember, welcome to the Caterpie from Team Caterpie. Woo. That doesn't Yay. Make sense. Uh, yeah, it does. I had a video on Team Caterpie called Welcome to the Caterpie. Really? Yes. But, but it was... Oh, I... Well, there you it go. It was a vlog oh, of now, my... Basement. Well, we're doing it this way now. Okay, so <laughs> Mecha Am oh, oh, it was because you were doing your setup and shit, right? Yeah. Okay, so some guy put Mega Ampharos, the fabulous new god of Team Flare. I like that. That's a nice comment. 
What, okay. what is Mega Ant Pros have anything to do? Oh, Flair. Okay. Never mind. Look at Diddy Walk. Um, and then some guy says, How come I still feel somewhat offended when someone says COD sucks even though I don't like COD anymore? Probably because, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, Actually, be, to be honest with you, when people <laughs> say that COD sucks, sometimes it bothers me too, even though I say it myself a lot. Like, some reason, just like in the. I, I agree with this comment and I don't know why, but. It's just like every once in a while when somebody says COD sucks and Battlefield 3 is so much better. I know it's true. I mean, it really, I mean, in a, way, in a lot of ways it is actually true. But again, it's it just is personal matter. taste. Some people it's think personal. COD is better than Battlefield. Yeah, exactly. It's personal taste. But um, in a lot of ways, I feel like Battlefield 3 is better. But somewhere deep in my like heart, it just feels like it's shattering. Have you ever even played Battlefield? I have. Okay. I'm actually okay at it. I really am. Which surprised me because, you know, I like to rush in COD. I was able to kind of change the way I played. Because I have to admit, Battlefield 3 is hard as hell. It's, it's so much harder for me. The I only mean, time I'm, I ever played Battlefield, all I did was drive around in jets. Those are fun. So, I don't blame you. Yeah, okay. Like somebody 50 bucks for a jet the, simulator. <laughs> somebody else talked about the Mormon, uh, Mormon hack. <laughs> it's not Mormon. I know it's not Mormon, it's but I'm just gonna say that now. We should make a Mormon lock. <laughs> we should just make our own Nuzlocke based around Mormons. I don't know. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, well, last week, me and Rusty were out driving around, and we saw like some Mormons riding around on a on bikes, and we just we couldn't help but make fun of them. And I apologize if anybody watching this is Mormon, but seriously, why you guys gotta walk around like ride around on bikes? It's like a million <laughs> degrees outside. Get a car. Hey, nothing beats when you're where where I live. For those of you that don't know, I'm not going to talk about where I live because I don't it's know. Alabama. You guys are creepers. It is Alabama, but He's where in I am. Huntsville, Alabama. Okay, fine. Everybody knows I live in Huntsville, Alabama. Is it the okay. University of Huntsville? Oh, shut the fuck up. Okay. I don't remember the name of your building. It's like Charter Village or something. No, shut up. I'm going to get rid of <laughs> Oh you, God! What is it? Second floor. Um, if you just go to the second floor of the building, look for the door that has Stephen, Kyle, Kevin on it. Uh, jokes on you! I took that down. We don't have the sign anymore. Anyway. <laughs> okay, look for the one door that doesn't have the sign. <laughs> okay, so, no, they all have. A lot of people took theirs down. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> back to what we were saying. Um, uh, where I live, there are a lot of people that um, when you're driving on the main like road that's kind of like by my campus um there are a lot of like amish people and it just, it just like they have the little hats and the long beard and i'm just like you know if there are any of you that are amish i know there's two different types of amish that's like super like one of those kind of amish and the ones that just have the amish beliefs don't take any offense to this but it was just like i never do amish people watch youtube videos <laughs> oh <laughs> i guess you have <laughs> I don't know. I saw a TV show the other week. It was like Amish Mafia. And they had Amish people with like cell phones and trucks. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Is well, this well, an Amish? Like I said, there, there are two different types of Amish. Like some people have the beliefs, but then they, they're, they aren't as strict on the whole no internet, no technology thing. So that I, so there might be some people actually watching this. There's like two different types. I remember hearing about that somewhere. Um Anyway, but, you know, I'd never seen somebody before because where I lived before is you know, nowhere like that. So. Birmingham. <laughs> Alabama, not England. Okay, well, maybe I should just hand out my address and Might my as well. social security number and everything. Okay. You act like they're going to come hunt, search at Huntsville for you. They don't even yeah, know what I'm, you look they're, like. They're not, I, I, it's, and it's fine. But... You know, I don't really care. I really don't. No, I know you guys aren't going to rape me or anything. Um, but uh, opportunity. Look, to look, back at, look back at... Uh, shut up. Look back at Candy. You remember Candy, Subscribe for Candy. We had a friend by the name of Subscribe for Candy who turned into like a douche and ditched the internet because he hates us. Well, he did, He never talks to us anymore, but um, he's not going to watch this because he never really watched any of Hardy's uh, Pokemon videos. Um, right. but he like was a, he was ashamed. Like anytime I would talk to him like, uh, on Skype or something, if his, one of his friends was over or something, he'd be like, don't mention, don't call me candy. Call me Alex. Don't, don't do it because, uh, they don't know about my channel. I don't want them finding out. It was like he was ashamed of it or something. 
Yeah, and like on Facebook, we weren't allowed to refer to him as his YouTube name. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Because he didn't want his friends knowing about it. I'm like, dude, what, what, what's the big like, deal? Who cares? It's, yeah, it's exactly. just a hobby. Yeah. Anyway, um, so anyway, we we'll get back to this. You know what we should do, Hardy? What? First of all, I'd like to suggest to all of you out there, I want you to come up with a Mormon lock. <laughs> give us the legitimate rules in the comments and oh, give a game that would be good for it. Make a full out hack for it. You know, make everybody Mormon in the game. I don't I doubt like many of my subscribers know how to hack a game. So I don't know your your subscribers have sent you like porn, so Okay, so it's I, one I, thing to Google Pokemon porn. porn. It's it, another like, to make current. your own hack. Okay, okay. I, I, I get your point. But anyway. Any of y'all do that, I'll be extremely impressed. Anyway, you know, and the other thing I was going to suggest, we should have a Q&A for one of these podcasts. Uh, yeah, okay, but I don't think anybody wants to be bothered asking you questions. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm rude. I'm yeah, you're rude. rude. Yeah, I, I'll ask you I actually question. like to hear about me. Okay, fine, guys. We'll do that next episode, since, um... So I, 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 I don't know if you more below. next to my news by then. <laughs> Huh? So I doubt there will be more X and Y news in the next week. Cause it seems yeah, like exactly. Not, yeah. It's not like we have anything decent to talk about, so we might as well Q&A. I don't know. I kind of just, it, I enjoyed our conversation about Mormons and Amish people. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole thing, guys. All you people out there, you know, we, we were thinking about, okay, for the most part, we're going to kind of just talk, or, uh, talk and just bullshit around. And like I said, it's loosely based on Pokemon, but we'll be talking about a lot more. Yeah, and, and this is kind of like our normal Skype calls, just with news. Because, you know, <laughs> you know it, normally... That's not normal. true. Our normal Skype calls are us just, like, yelling insults at each other. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, exactly. Um, but anyway, let's let's get back to this. Uh, Oga Boga. We're talking about anymore. Oga Boga says... I'm sorry, that's probably not how you pronounce it, but... Also... Booga, we'll be, booga, booga. Okay, he said, so I gotta ask, what's a guy gotta do to be a guest on this awesomeness? Hardy, would you like to answer that? I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know. We never we never talked about that. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. We're we're to answer that question. We're probably gonna have guests later on, but right now we can't really do it live because of Hardy's shitty connection. And and would you like to talk about that? Your shitty internet. It's shitty. Yeah, that's about it. And um, so we're not really doing it live now. I'd like to eventually get it to where we could do it live, but you know, we, for right now we can't. And that would make it a lot easier because if we did it live, we could do it on Twitch or whatever, and you guys could be, you know, in the comment section or whatever. You could be sending comments to us live, and you know, maybe stirring up some conversations for me and Hardy to have, and then we could bring in people. But um, we plan on having some guests later on, right? Uh, well, yeah, you know, I kind of want to talk about guests for a second because this made me think about it, and I know some of you probably won't like this for like those of you who are hoping to be on it, but you get really got to think more of like. Um, uh, I'm not really sure how to word this, but when we do have guests, we'll try to bring in guests that are like would be special attractions. I mean, if you saw a video that said like Cat or K featuring, let's say Hoodlum Scrafty, would you be like more excited to click on that? Because I mean, you might be a fan of Hoodlum Scrafty than some YouTube channel who has like one subscriber who you never heard of before. Which one would you be more willing to click <laughs> on? I know, like the whole point of bringing in special guests is to try to like bring in more attention and more like attraction to it, and you know, like these special guests who are known in the Pokemon community, you know that they like have the ability to be entertaining and hold conversations and all that, and like people want to listen to them as opposed to like the channels that are just starting off and just want to yeah. don't have any kind of fan base or recognition. So for the most part, any guests will probably be like known people in the Pokemon mm -hmm. community. So. But you never know. Maybe occasionally we'll do like a drawing to just bring in some random subscriber. Who knows? Or maybe we'll do kind of like they do on radio stations if we do decide to do it live. You know, um, like we could just bring in a person for like a couple minutes and then, you know, let them talk. And then they go back out and then get somebody else or something like that. Maybe we'll do something like that later. But for right now, that's just not going to happen. And you guys, if you're, if you're jealous and want to be on the on the show and you probably know that you can't don't be jealous of some of those big guys that hardy's gonna get because you know he's all famous and whatnot be I like jealous my boy's of me. big 
be jealous of me because, you know, I got lucky. The only reason I'm really getting to be on this is because I'm good friends with Hardy. We go way back, and, um, you know, we happened uh, to just think of this idea while he was coming and visiting me, and we recorded something, and we were like, oh, we feel really comfortable talking with each other compared to all of the rest of Hardy's dual comms where he sounds all awkward. No offense. I was pretty good with, with Poke Wolf. Yeah, you did do with Poke Wolf. And, we um, might bring her on one of these. I have to talk to her. Yeah, about yeah, that that could work. And um, but yeah, the main reason is because I'm like one of his best buddies. So that's pretty much the only reason I got on. Um, so I hope you guys are at least enjoying having me on. Hopefully, you'll get used to me. And rolling into the next comment, says everybody knows I live in Alabama. And anyway, <laughs> the next comment was Bilbo by Bilbo Baggins. You spelled Baggins wrong, but I'm gonna let that slide. Roll Tide, Alabama is the best state. Thank you. Well, he said Roll Tide, Alabama is the best state. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're probably the only person who said that. You probably live in Alabama, which is probably why. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, the season. Alabama football, college football. So I, I've been keeping up with it. We almost lost to Texas A&M last week, but we managed to pull out a win. Um, if you guys ever want to you know, bring up topics about college football, I I do know a little bit about that. So okay, I hate to be that guy, but I don't give a shit about sports. So well, we can still <laughs> mention it. You know, I don't give a shit about a lot of the stuff you like. So <laughs> all I talk about is Pokemon. Well, then I guess that's not true then, because I like talking about Pokemon. <laughs> okay, and then the next comment was the comment that I saw by Jilly Penny Spectrobes. Spectrobes. That game was the shittiest game I ever played. Seriously. That's fine. If that's your opinion, that's cool. I mean, I honestly, looking back on it, it wasn't the best game in the world, but I still loved it because, you know, back then I was lucky to have any games. The next comment was Spizzles saying, hey, look, it's me. Worst comment on that entire video, so egotistical. Yeah, yeah. and I even put it in all caps a lot. So, <laughs> okay, so... The awesome one nine three nine says, "Ha ha! If you get bit by that spider, you you put on sunglasses. Die hard." Uh, <laughs> moving on. Well, this is awkward. Okay, <laughs> I like this next comment by Alden. I think that's how you pronounce it. Alden Grant says they should make a mega caterpie. What do you think, Hardy? Two op. 2 OP? Would it have an explosion to use on Dick Pinch? <laughs> Instead of a mega stone or whatever, you just feed it Mexican jumping beans. I remember when you uploaded that video, Caterpie vs. Dick Pinch, and um, I actually saw Hayden's view first. That's because his was uploaded first. Well, obviously, because yours fucked up. Um, but anyway, uh, I just remember watching that video, and I saw you use Explosion, and I was like, oh my god, he's going to fuck up Dick Pinch. And then it I don't choked. want to talk just, about this. Let's move on. I was literally yelling at my screen. I was like, that's bullshit. Didn't kill it. <laughs> I thought, I, right the day after that battle, I thought of a better strategy, too. So someday when a Caterpie versus Dick Pinch 2, I'm calling you out right now, Hayden. When that happens, I guarantee I'll beat it. Uh-oh, all you subscribers out there, spam his Twitter. Spam Hayden's Twitter so Hardy can face him again. You better not lose this time, you bitch. <laughs> and you got to have... Are you going to at least have soft penis on your team again? I like soft penis. <laughs> soft oh, penis, penis warm penis, you know I mean? little balls like, of fury. <laughs> I like the Pokemon soft penis. I don't like actual soft penis. <laughs> <laughs> no, you like yours hard. <laughs> you're going to convince them that you're gay. <laughs> Oh, oh well guys i hope you know this whole going through the comma thing probably isn't going to be a regular thing on catter cave it's more if we really just didn't think of that much to talk about this week so. yeah so so this is just kind of me just wondering what i should do but, but i think um i think we're pretty much getting towards the end of the show here so you have any more comments you have to look at so let me just kind of jump at a few more comments because there are a few more okay just see if there's any other good ones that are important um, bring up more Mormon Run. Okay. Oh, I was thinking. Okay, that's Hardy. 
God, this is so entertaining right now, listening to you yeah. just browse through your comments. I'm, My I'm God. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, somebody actually suggested for Zatu's uh, Mega Evolution, I think is what he means, is uh, it would be cool if Zatu got like a third eye. That would be pretty cool. And oh, yeah, uh, I remember that. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, some guy said hi. So, hello. Well, you. you say hi, we say goodbye, because I think we're pretty much at the end of our rope for today. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the Q&A for next episode, I think that'll make it a much more interesting episode. We won't talk about Mormons, probably, unless <laughs> some of your Q&As are about Mormons. If you ask what they are, you can't exactly answer that very well. So <laughs> They're people, too, damn it. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so yeah, put your questions down in the description below, and we'll be going through them next time and answering all you guys' questions. Ask about whatever you want. I don't care. Ask Fizzles whatever you want. He doesn't care. And check out his channel down in the description below, and I should probably let him talk about all this stuff. So, yeah, you talk now. And once again, I'll mention this again. Um, I did say in the last one that I was planning on starting a Nuzlocke run. I have started it. In fact, I need to probably tomorrow morning uh, do my second episode. I'm doing a Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke run, which I've never done Fire Red Omega before. So it's pretty. I'm pretty much running it blind, which is going to be bad because I'm probably going to lose because if anybody's worse at Pokemon than Hardy, it's me. That's saying so, something, guys. So if I'm really the best of the worst, he's definitely the worst of the worst. So, so um, yeah. And, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Um, And uh, plan on doing some Minecraft videos, too. And maybe I'll be doing something with Hardy on my channel later on. But right now, I don't think I'm going to actually upload the podcast onto my channel. Right now, it's just going to be on Hardy's. But we'll see. Maybe that'll change. So, yeah. Well, go ahead and say goodbye then. Bye. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching the category. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, go to subscribe to Spizzles down in the description, and go eat a cookie because you guys are awesome. I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. Q&A, Q&A, Q&A. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Go. Did you really just cut me off? At the I'm sorry. At the most important part. I think I just got fired. <laughs> If you'd like to apply for a position as co-host on the Catter K, please leave your application in my email box. Thank you. Until next time, I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo.